I'm Maida, and today I want to talk about the advantages and disadvantages of SNAP hydrophonics, also known as Kratky method or passive hydrophonics. Now, what does SNAP stand for? It stands for Simple Nutrient Addition Program. In this kind of system, we need to have some kind of solution. For example, I have SNAP A and SNAP B. By the way, these are manufactured in UPLB. And what we need to do is that we have to mix them in 10 liters of unchlorinated water, 25 ml of SNAP solution A, and another 25 ml of SNAP solution B. Now, after mixing them together, we can put them in a container like the one I have here for my tomatoes. Now, I'll give you an example. For example, this is my fruiting tomato. Actually, it's not fruiting. It's still flowering. And let me show you the small flowers there. All right. And... So let's get into some of the advantages that I can think of. By the way, these are just my opinions. If you want to add some more advantages and disadvantages, I'll be more than happy to hear them. So let's get into it. My first advantage is that it is cheap. I don't need to buy soil. I don't need to buy additional fertilizers and I am recycling so I'm only using recycled pet bottles here. Now my second advantage is that I don't need to use a lot of water. Yes, I need water to start the solution but I don't need to add more and more water into it. So. Yeah, water conservation is very important right now. And my third advantage is that I don't need to spend a lot on herbicides or insecticides. Yes, there are some debates if hydroponics is organic or not. But think about it. You don't have a lot of pests to manage since you're not growing in soil. And you don't need to pull out a lot of weeds since we are growing them in small containers. So these are just some of the advantages that I can think of based on my experiences. Now, let's go into some of the disadvantages that I can think of or I have encountered. Now, disadvantage number one is I still need to do a lot of research based on the system. For example, I've lost some tomato plants because of some bacterial growth and because of stress related into heat. Now, this advantage number two is that even if they are compact and I don't need to use a lot of space, plant still needs an adequate amount of sunshine around four to six hours. And for disadvantage number three is that I cannot grow a lot of plants. Well, I like growing tomatoes. I like growing some leafy vegetables. But using this solution, I cannot grow some trees or maybe some kind of vine. Well, actually, I can grow, but I need to have a bigger system. So those are some of the advantages and disadvantages that I can think of. Uh, in my opinion, I would still recommend some people to try this kind of system because the disadvantages uh, can be overcome by advantages. And also, it's a fun way to learn. You can also do it with your children or with your uh with other kids and you can share this experience okay so again thank you so much for listening and i hope to see you again next time bye